Today we will talk about Unit 3, Lesson 1, Soil Component, Grade 5. What is meant by soil? Soil is a thin non-compacted superficial layer which covers the earth's crust. Earth's crust is crucial all day. Soil are different in color and texture. Texture is not just a smooth, granular, uh, rocky. Now we will uh, know, uh, see different types of uh, soil which uh, differ in uh, shape, uh, color, texture. As you see, this soil uh, is color yellow. This soil, clay, sand, different types. Another type of soil. All these types are different in color and uh, texture. Now we will talk about soil component. Soil component is the, compo is the soil is consists of different uh, components such as number one pieces of rocks, water, air, silt, and humus. Um, <clears throat> To see the different component of soil, we can make a, a simple activity to prove that soil is com composed of many components, such as uh, we see humus, water, silt, gravel, and a large pieces of rocks or small pieces of rocks. This activity we see it uh, at the end of our uh, studying. The first component of soil is pieces of rocks. Rocks are the composed of sand, clay, minerals, and gravel. The gravels, which are stones, are uh, small stones. The main uh, component of uh, rocks is sand and clay, as we uh, say previously. Humus. The most important component of soil is humus. Humus. Uh, composed of um, remains decayed bacteria of living organisms such as animal, plant, um, leaves of plant, uh, spiders, uh, dead. Now we will uh, know what is meant by humus. Humus it is the decayed remains of animals and plant mixed with the soil component and its color or dark brown or black. How is humus is formed? Many uh, stages of formation of humus, which are number one, when the living organism as animal or plant die, they will decay, decay and it will or decompose. Number two, it become part of soil having dark brown or black. But number one, when the living organism die, it will decay and become part of the soil having its dark color. This humus will affect uh, in the color of soil and it is impor very important to the soil as you add nutrients to the soil. We give the soil the when the living organism die, the uh, minerals or the uh, material which is inside its body is uh, <coughs> calcium magnesium will uh, return back to the soil and add uh, the nutrients to the soil. Now we will talk about the importance of the soil. Is the soil important for all living organisms? Yes. Number one, the plant. How is soil is important for plant? Plant, when we uh, grow plants in the soil, the plant take or absorb yamtos, is minerals and other nutrients from the soil to live and grow. Without these minerals, plant can't grow. Number one, plant. Number two, animals which eat plant. 
that depend previously on the soil to grow. يبقى كده ال soil مهمة number one the plant the living organism and the animal another living organism. And so the animal other animals which make their home in the soil is some types of worms and spiders and which live inside soil. Number one, the plant. Number two, animals. Other animals which make home in the soil. Last, living organisms or human. Human depend on his food, on plant or animals. When we eat vegetables, fruits, all these plants which depend on the soil and absorbing the minerals from the soil. This activity shows the components, the different components of soil, which we see previously. When we see uh, at the lower, there is sand and uh, small pieces of rocks, salt, clay, water, and air. Finally, the humus, which is an important component of the soil, the decayed. Uh, materials of living organisms after its this as animal or plant. This is called humus. Humus. This activity shows the different component of soil. Again, silt, clay, water, air, and humus. Now we will talk about formation of soil. Soil formed after three stages. Number one. Rocks break down into very small pieces along the time by rain and heat. Malwat, for example, temperature and wood in rain. This is cause or is the reason for number one stages of formation of soil. Number two, wind. What wind cause? The cause break down and forming the soil. The large pieces of rocks breaks down, forming soil. Number one, rain and heat. Number two, wind. Number three, water. A running water that breaks rocks into smaller pieces. Thus, the three stages which causes formation of soil, or the reasons for formation of soil, that are number one, rain and heat. Number two, wind. Number three, water. Now. We will talk how we will know what is the layer of soil. And only I believe that layer of soil is a superficial layer above Earth's crust. It's about a foot high, foot to the floor. It's not just a layer; it's a collection of different layers. Number one, top soil layer. Number two, lower soil layers. Number three, rocky. Layers deal with near the air's crust. Number one, top soil layer, which contain <coughs> rocks of plants, roots. Sorry, roots of plant, leaves of plant. Some leaves, some leaves, some leaves which fall on the ground. Humus, which we uh, know after uh, before, the decay remains. Of living organisms and small pieces may be found, small pieces of rocks. Uh, many living organisms can live in the top soil layer as earth worm, and spiders and other some insects. Roots of plant. مهمة جدا وجودها في ال top soil layers إن هي الوحيدة اللي تفيد ال plant is they the plant absorb water and mineral salts from the soil by these roots. If a roots benefit the plant by extend the root be embedded underground to fix the plant. عشان يمسك النبات كويس في ال في الصويل. وكمان عشان يعمل إنه يبزور 
the nutrient which are mineral salt from the soil. Here we learned the importance of the root for the plant. We only need number one absorb water and mineral salts from the soil. Number two, hold or fix the plant strongly in the soil against any wind. The second component of the top soil layer, sorry, now that any number one mineral roots of plant, they may have the root in the root in the plant. They bad plant is very important for the soil. Soil benefit okay, from the plant here it is the fair mineral root type plant is the number one the root of plant decrease decrease and yeah, yeah, reduce allele soil erosion as many plants grow in the soil may cool see plant at all suffer continually in the soil that we say no be allele the soil erosion number two roots of some plant add nutrient to the soil Number three, hold the soil in place. The ideal importance of root of plant to the soil. The soil get benefit from the root of plant. The second component is the top soil layer or leaves of plant which fall down and decay forming humus. When the leaves of plant fall on the soil, Top soil layer is a decay forming humus, which is very important for the soil. The number one, roots of plant. Number two, leaves of plant. Number three, humus. Number four, small pieces of rock may be found. Number five, organisms. And Kalim sure living organisms which live in the top soil layers is ants and other insects. The one ants are from the body of insects in the lymph, which are deep tissues that go soil. They have a lot of tunnels, dig tunnels, to have a little bit of water to have a little nest and they lay eggs. After that, they have a little bit of dye, when they dye, they decay and form the humus which add nutrients to the soil. Some living organisms which live in the top soil layer. Other living organisms are spiders and earthworms. Next, the water earthworm will be their home or shelter under the ground by digging tunnels in the soil. The soil is fed by the living organisms. It's fed by the The importance for soil and plant. A living organism is feed. In soil, we can feed the plant in the growing in this soil. For soil, we have in the uh, spiders or ants dug in uh, dig tunnels, they allow air and water, nutrients, to pass easily to the soil. soil. This is the first and the first important living organisms which live in the top soil layer. For plants, the living organisms are fed by the plant feed. When they did or die, or after this, sorry, they decay and change into humans. We'll take it again. The importance of soil, the importance of living organisms which live in top soil layer for the soil and the plant. For soil, it allows air, water, and the nutrients to pass easily through the soil. For plant, it makes it easier to the root of the plant to grow and get these materials, the mineral salt. Also, after this, they change into humus, which benefit the soil. We get the last number one, the top, top soil layer, which contain roots of plant, leaves of plant, humus, small pieces of rock may be found 
and the last living organisms which live at the top soil layer. The second layer called lower soil layer. Third layer is the rocky layer which contain pieces of rock. Some of these pieces are uh, large and others are small. The upper layer of this layer pieces of rocks small and the lower layer contains solid or huge rocks. كده يا ولاد احنا في نهاية الليسون نستنتج بنسبة ان السويل هي ايه بقى؟ الديفينيشن اللي بتاعتها ايه يقولوا؟ It is the loose superficial layer of earth crust composed of minerals that result from breaking down of rocks mixed with decayed minerals of dead organisms. It also contains microorganisms that we can see by our naked eyes. Thank you. Activity to show the layers of soil. Three layers of on the left, the top soil layer, lower, and the rocky layer. As you can see, this is active learning. We did it in the last lesson with you guys. We did it. هنشوف في التوب زي ما احنا شايفين دلوقتي living organisms earth worm spider and worm some leaves of plant which fall on the ground root of plant all these living organisms live in the top soil layer the second layer which is the lower layer which have may be found uh, humus, small amount of humus. The last layer near the earth crust is the rocky layer contain pieces of rocks. Layers of soil or top soil layer, lower and rocky layer.